Let's touch a little bit on the droopy nasal tip or totic nasal tip, which effectively bothers both men and women, sometimes relaxed because it may look significantly long, or when smiling as a result of the interaction between the muscles of the lip and the muscles under the nose and the shape of the tip. Most of the time, the changes that appear around the tip of the nose are purely the movement of the upper lip and the nose is static, but there are instances when the nose tip also moves and that's usually when the support is even weaker than in the other cases. If you think of uh, nasal tip support, which is primarily a tripod of the shape of the cartilages and supported also by the septum. It's almost like a three-legged stool with one leg that's a little bit shorter and makes it drop downwards. And the effort is primarily to shorten the longer legs of support and rotate the tip of the nose in relation to the facial plane. This is sometimes a simple intervention sometimes needs to be stabilized more to the bridge of the nose, in particular when there is considerable shortening to achieve. And in that situation, the traditional approach of shortening the lower part of the septum will not work by itself. There are situations when the tip of the nose looks like it's drooping, but the nose in itself is short. That's because the base of the columella is retracted this further back and in a situation like this sh just shortening the nose is the wrong thing to do. In, a, in these sort of uh, scenarios it's better to build up some support and volume at the base of the columella and perhaps change the shape of the nasal tip so it looks like it's a little bit up. This can be achieved either through open or closed interventions and my preference tends to be towards the open approach and there is increasingly the interest about using some of the ligaments inside the nose to add to the stability. So not just to use the relationship between cartilages in the nose, the framework, but also to use some of the, the ligaments between the skin and the cartilages to add to this support. Ultimately what we want to see in the end is that the nose starts a little bit lifted in its shape and when smiling, although the lip moves, the tip of the nose doesn't come down, it doesn't look like it's sitting too low.